Hello everyone and welcome back. This is the final part of my Super Saiyan Teen Gohan Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial. And I'm both excited and proud. I'm proud because I think this is the longest tutorial when it comes to pixel arts on YouTube when you add them all up together, all eight parts. And I'm excited because, well, this is the very last part of this pixel art tutorial. And now I get to start other pixel arts that other people have been asking me. Uh, four. So let's go and start with the eyes. We're going to switch to the gold block, the pumpkin, the green wool, the lime wool, the light gray wool, the snow, and the white wool. So first thing we're going to start off is with the gold block and we're going to work on Gohan's right eyebrow. So let's fly over to it and I want you to find the nine black wools that go across it's part of the bottom block of uh, or bottom section of Gohan's eyebrow. So it's this part right here, the nine blocks going across. And we're going to start on the left side of the nine blocks going across. So from this block, we're going to count two blocks over to the right, this being the first block. So this is one, and this is two. And we're going to start on top of that. So on top of this block, you'll place two gold blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, that's two. Delete that. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two. Now delete that placement block. And now with the gold block, you're going to fill in this section here. Staying within the black wall outline, you're going to fill this in with gold. And then once you've done that, you're going to switch to the pumpkin. And then you're going to fill in this single section here with pumpkin. And you're also going to fill in this empty space and this empty space. So, you, so you're going to be filling in these three empty spaces with pumpkin and this empty space here with gold. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to switch to the green wool. Now with the green wool, we're going to be working here on the center of his eye. So find this area. And I want you to find the three black wolves going across with one block underneath the right block of the three blocks going across. We're going to start next to this block here on the left side. So on the left side of this block, you're going to place two green wolves going across to the left. So that's one, two. Now one block going diagonal down to the left. Now two blocks going across. It's going to be two sets of twos going across on the lower level. To the left after this one block so it's one two one one two two then place one block going diagonal down to the left so that's one and it should look exactly like this now you're going to switch to the lime wool and with the lime wool you're going to go back to the first two green wools that we placed going across and we're going to start underneath the left block of the two blocks going across. So starting underneath that block there, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, and that's two. It should look like this. Now you're going to switch to the snow block. Now with the snow block, we're going to start from this block here, the lime wall, the first lime wall that we placed. And you're going to start on the right side of it. So starting on the right side of this block, you'll place three snow blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. It should look like this. Now switch back to the lime wool. And with the lime wool, you're going to fill in this section here with lime wool. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now you're going to switch to the light gray wool. Now with the light gray wool, we're going to start on top of this snow block here, the one that sticks out from the center of the eye. So starting on top of this snow block, you're going to place three light gray wools going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. Delete that. And then place one block going diagonal down to the right. So that's one. And it should look like this. Now you're going to fill in these two empty areas with light gray wool. So do that now. And it should look like this. 
So now let's go to the other side, still remaining on this eye. And I want you to find this block here. The two black walls going across that are next to this one green wall here. And we're going to start underneath these two black walls going across. With the light gray wall, you're going to place two blocks going across underneath it. So that's one, two. And then you're going to place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. It should look like this. Now you're going to switch to the white wool. Now with the white wool, you're going to fill in three areas. You're going to fill in this single area here. You're going to fill in that small area. And you're going to fill in this area with white wool. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now I know some of you are getting excited now that you see Gohan's eye for the first time in your world. So let's switch back to the gold block and we're going to work on the other eye now. So let's go over here and we're going to be working on the eyebrow first. So I want you to find this area here with the two black wolves going across and the seven blocks going up on the left side. So starting from these two black wolves, starting on the left block on top of it, you're going to place three blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now going back to the first gold block that we just placed here, starting on top of it, you'll place four gold blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four. It should look like this. Now going back to the three gold blocks here, going to the right block of the three blocks, starting underneath this gold block, you're going to place three blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. And it should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to. So now, from this block, you're going to place one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. Now place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, and that's two. It should look like this so far. So now you're going to switch to the pumpkin, and you're going to fill in this area here with pumpkin. And you're also going to fill in these small areas here with pumpkin. Now don't get overzealous and then come down here and start filling these random empty spaces with pumpkin. No, you're only going to follow this path, this path that's going diagonal, staying within the black wool. So following this path that goes diagonal, nothing below it gets filled in. These spaces don't get filled in, only this path right here that goes diagonal, that goes down to the right. So fill in these spaces with pumpkin. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now we're going to switch to the white wool for just a second and fly down here to this empty space here that's below the pumpkin. And from this empty space, you're going to place one white wool there, like that. Now you're going to switch to the lime wool. Now with the lime wool, starting from this empty spot, you're going to place three blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three. And it should look like this. Now you're going to switch to the green wool. Now with the green wool starting on top of this black wool, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, and that's two. And it should look like this. Now you're going to switch to the light gray wool. Now with the light gray wool starting next to this green wool, you're going to place two blocks going across to the left. So that's one and two. It should look like this. Now you're going to switch to the snow block. Now with the snow block starting next to this green wool here, you're going to place three blocks going across to the left with the snow block. So that's one, two, and a three. And it should look like this. Now you're going to switch back to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, you're going to fill in this empty spot here with light gray wool. So do that now. And it should look like this. Now switch to the white wool. Now with the white wool, you're going to fill in two empty spots. You're going to fill in this area here with white wool. And then you're going to fill in this one single spot here with white wool. So do that now. 
and it should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now just to compare. Next, we're going to switch to the birchwood plank. So we can go ahead and put away all of these materials for now. And in fact, we're going to switch to the white wool. We're going to work our way up. We're going to start from the chin and then go all the way up. So starting from the chin, you're going to need the white wool for now. Now with the white wool, I want you to go uh, to the very bottom of the chin outline and you should find these eight black wools going across. And we're going to start on top of the right block so on top of the right block of the eight blocks going across, starting on top of this block, you'll place four blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. Now, starting on top of this block here, the first block that we placed, you're going to place a length three blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now you're going to place a length two blocks going across to the right. That's one. And that's two. And now you're going to place a regular three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three. Now place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, and that's two. Delete that. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. 1, 2, delete that. Now place 3 blocks going diagonal up to the right. 1, 2, 3, delete those placement blocks. Now place 2 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. 1, 2, delete that. Now place 2 blocks going diagonal up to the right. One, two. Delete those. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. To the left. So that's one, two. Delete that. Now, starting on top of the right block of the two blocks going across that we just placed. Starting on top of this block, you'll place one white wall there on top of it. So it looks like a backwards L. Now from this block, you're going to place two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So one, two, one, one, two, two. Delete the placement blocks. Now place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. One and two, and it should make contact with the middle block of these three black walls going up. So delete that placement block. And now you're going to fill in the remaining spaces between the white wool and the black wool with white wool. So go ahead and fill in these spaces here with white wool. Do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look exactly like this. So now let's go all the way up to the corner, to the right corner of Gohan's face. And I want you to find the five black wools here. It's all the way to the top right corner of the empty section. So find the five black wools going across. And going down to the left, you should find these three black wools going across. And I want you to start from this area here. Starting on the left block, underneath the left block of the three blocks going across, you're going to place four white wools going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. And it should look exactly like this so far. So now from this block, you're going to place three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now delete the placement blocks. Now place two blocks going down on the right side. One, two, delete that. Now place seven blocks going down on the right side. One, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fly up and delete that. Now place four blocks going down on the right side. One, two, three, four. Delete that. Now place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. And delete that. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. 
that's one, two, and delete that. Now, underneath this block here, underneath the right block of the two blocks going across, you're going to place one white wool underneath it. So that's one. And it should look exactly like this. Now you're going to fill in the single area between the white wool and the black wool, staying within the outlines. So go ahead and do that now. Fill in the single area with white wool. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now let's move down to the black outline, a black wool line, uh, underneath Gohan's eye here. Underneath his right eye, there should be a black wool line underneath it. And I want you to fly to the five black wools going across, the five black wools that are furthest to the, the right. And we're going to start underneath this block here. Underneath the, the right block of the five black wolves going across, we're going to count two blocks into the left, this being the first block. So this is one, and this is two. And that's where we're going to start, underneath that black wool. Now, starting underneath this block, you're going to place eight blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and now you're going to delete the placement blocks so do that now let's go back and now you're going to place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left one two delete that now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left one two delete that now place Two sets of fours going across on the upper level to the left. Two sets of fours. It's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. And it should make contact with the middle block here of the three black holes going across. So now let's go ahead and delete the placement blocks. And now you're going to fill in this single area here between the black wool and the white wool. You're going to fill this area with white wool. So do that now. And once you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now, we're going to put away the white wool, because we're done with it. And you're going to switch to the birch wood planks, and the jungle wood planks, and the sand. So switch to the birch wood plank, the jungle wood planks, and the sand. So, starting with the jungle wood planks, we're going to fly down here to Gohan's nose. And you're going to fill in this section here with jungle wood planks, staying within the black wool outline, so do that now. And it should look like this when you're done filling it in. So now switch to the birch wood planks. Now from this same area, we're going to move down, and you should see this gap between this five black wools going across and these seven black wools going across. Now, we're going to start from the bottom block of the seven blocks going across here. That's right next to the gap, so starting underneath that block, you're going to place two birchwood planks going across to the left. So that's one, and that's two. Now you're going to switch to the sand, and fill this empty space here with sand. So it looks exactly like this. Now switch back to the birchwood plank. Now, starting from this block here, the right block of the two blocks going across, you're going to place one block going diagonal down to the right. So that's one. Now, switch back to the jungle wood planks, and we're going to move down here, and we should come across the five black wolves going across. So find this area, and we're going to start underneath it, uh, underneath this block here, on the right side of the five black wolves going across, you could also start from this area, use this as a reference point. So starting from this one block here, you'll place four jungle wood planks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. It should look like this. So now let's go back to the first jungle wood plank that we just placed here, and let's count underneath it, and we'll count two blocks going into the left. So this being the first block. This is one, and this is two. And that's where we're going to start, underneath that jungle wood plank. So with the jungle wood planks, you're going to place four blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. And it should look exactly like this so far.
now we're going to switch back to the birchwood planks. Now with the birchwood planks, we're going to move to the top of the four blocks going across, of the jungle wood planks, so move to the top four blocks going across, and we're going to start underneath the left block, the left block of the four jungle wood planks going across up here, starting underneath it. You'll place two blocks going down with birchwood planks, so that's one, and that's two. Now place one block going diagonal down the, to the right, so that's one, and it should look exactly like this. So, I almost forgot about this part, so we're not completely done with the white wall. Uh, so switch back to the white wall. This is going to be the last part for the white wall, though. I almost forgot about this one line here. So, with the white wall, you're going to find these five black walls going across. It was right next to the gap that was next to the seven black walls going across. So find these five black walls going across, and this is where we're going to start now. From this block here... The left block of the five black bolts going across, you're going to look diagonal one block. So you're going to look there. So we're going to start on top of these two black bolts going across. This is going to be our starting point. Now, from this block here, starting on top of that block there, this black wall, you're going to place four blocks going diagonal up to the left with white wool. So that's one, two, three, four. Now place two blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two. Now we're going to move one block over to the left. Now starting on top of this black wall, and we're going to be doing this a lot, going over to the left and starting on top of the black wall. So starting on top of this black wall, you're going to place three blocks going up. That's one, two, three. Now let's move over. Now starting on top of this block, you'll place three blocks going up again. So that's one, two, three. Let's move over. And now you're going to place two blocks going up. One, two. Now let's move over. And now you're going to place another two blocks going up. One, two. So now let's move over again. And you're going to place two blocks going up again. So that's one, two. Now let's move over to the left again. Now place two blocks going up. One, two. This is the easiest way for me to tell you, because then there's some links and I don't want you guys to get confused. That's why I'm doing the whole move over one and then just add up. That's why I'm not saying the regular two sets of twos, because there's a bunch of links here in random places, so I'm not trying to get you confused. So, it should look exactly like this so far, so go ahead and pause the video now if you need to. Alright, so now let's go back up, and let's move over. Now starting on top of this block, you're going to place two blocks going up. That's one two and now you're going to place two blocks going diagonal up to the left so that's one two so now let's move over to the left and now place two blocks going up that's one two let's move over to the left again and now place two blocks going up one two now let's move over and place two blocks going up one two now you're going to place three blocks going diagonal up to the left. One, two, three. And now place five blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two, three, four, five, and it should make contact with this black wool here. So I'll fly back a bit. So it should look exactly like this. I recommend pausing the video now, just in case the five white wools didn't match up with that black wool, so you can see where... You might have misplaced the block. So it should look exactly like this so far. So now we can go ahead and put away the white wool. And we can switch to the birchwood planks. Now with the birchwood planks, we're going to move to this area here. On the left side of Gohan's eyebrow, on top of it. I want you to find this area. The seven black wools going up. Part of Gohan's left eyebrow. And we're going to start on top of these seven black walls. So starting on top of this block, you'll place two birchwood planks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, delete that. Now place two blocks going up on the left side. One, two, delete that. Now place one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one, delete that. Now place two blocks going up on the left side. One, two. 
delete that. Now place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Now delete those placement blocks. And it should look exactly like this so far. So now from this block, you're going to place one block going diagonal down to the left. And that's one. Delete that. Now place two blocks going down on the right side. So that's one, two. And now you're going to place three sets of twos going down on the right side. Three sets of twos going down on the right. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. And it should make contact with this black wool here. Let's go ahead and delete the placement blocks now. And now you're going to switch to the sand block, and you're going to be filling in three empty spots. So you're going to fill in this section here, and then you're going to fill in these two empty sections here. So fill in these sections, this, this, and this. So those three. Fill that in now with sand. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now let's switch back to the birchwood planks. Now with the birchwood planks, we're going to move down here. And I want you to find this, this section here. These five black wools going down, it's part of Gohan's nose. So find these blocks. And we're going to start on the top block of Gohan's nose, of the five black wools going down. So starting on top of this block here, this black wool, you're going to place two blocks going across. It's going to be actually two sets of twos. So starting on top of this, two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two. Delete the placement block and it should look like this so far. So now st starting on top of this block, we're going to be placing a linked two blocks going across to the right. So that's one and that's two. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. And that's one, and it should make contact with these black wool here. So now let's go back to the two blocks going across here that's on top of the black walls. Now starting from this block here, the left block of the two blocks going across, you're going to place one block going diagonal down to the left. So that's one. And now place four blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. Let's delete that. Now place one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. Delete that. Now place two blocks going up on the left side. One, two. Delete that. Now place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, and that's two. And it should make contact with these black wool here. So delete that placement block, and it should look exactly like this so far. So now you're going to switch to the sand block, and you're going to be filling in two spaces with sand. You're going to fill in this one small space here with sand, and you're going to be filling in this space here with sand. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now you're going to switch to the white wool again. I thought we were done as soon as we finished this section, but I did forget this small area. And the very last part that needs white wool, you really can't blame me because it's a very small part. Uh, so let's move over here to this birchwood plank here that's making contact with Gohan's right eyebrow. Now starting next to this block here on the left side, you're going to place two blocks going across with white wool. So that's one, two. And it should look like this so far. Now place one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. Delete that. Now place five blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two, three, four, five. Fly down and delete that placement block. And that's it for the white wool. That's why you really can't blame me. I forgot this small tiny section that needed white wool. So let's go ahead and put away the white wool, finally retiring it. And now let's go and switch to the birchwood planks again. Now with the birchwood planks, we're going to fly to this area here, where we just use the white wool here. And find this section that we placed a linked two sets of twos going across. 
and we're going to start from this block here this block so from this block you're going to place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right so that's one two one one two two now delete the placement blocks and it should look exactly like this so far so now from this block, you're going to place one block going diagonal down to the right. And it should make contact with this black wall here that's going two blocks up. Alright, so now let's move over here. This is going to be kind of a tricky place to get to because all of these blocks are three sets of threes, threes, threes. Uh, so let's see, how can I find a way to explain to you? Alright, this is going to be the easiest way. So find these six black walls going across that are next to the lime wall and the green wall here in Gohan's eye. So find these six blocks going across. And we're going to start from the right block here. And we're going to move down a level. And you should come across these three black walls here. This is where we're going to start. We're going to start on the left block underneath the left block of the three black walls here going across. Starting underneath that block here. You're going to place four birchwood planks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, that's two, that's three, and that's four. Now delete the placement block, and it should look exactly like this. So now, with the birchwood planks, you're going to fill in this single area here with birchwood planks. Staying within the black wool outline and the birchwood outline, so do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now, I made a slight mistake. I want you to switch to the jungle wood planks. Another small mistake that I forgot. And I want you to find this area here. You see where the white section and the light gray section of wool finishes over here to the right? And you should see these two black wools. I want you to delete these two birch wood planks that you've already placed. So we can get this empty section here. So it should look like exactly like this so far. Now with the jungle wood planks, you're going to fill in these two spots here, so it looks exactly like this. Alright, so now let's switch back to the birchwood planks. Now with the birchwood planks, I want you to fly all the way up here until you find this black wool line that's on top of Gohan's eyebrow here, going all the way up. And you should come across these three sets of twos going across. Now we're going to start from the middle set. So this is the first set, this is the third set, and this is the middle set here of these two blocks. And we're going to start on top of the left block of the two blocks going across. Starting on top of that block there, you're going to place two blocks going up. So that's one, and that's two. Now place four blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three, four. Delete that. Now place two sets of threes going up on the left side. Two sets of threes. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Now delete the placement blocks. Let's go back up. Now place two blocks going up on the left side. One, two. Delete that. Then place one block going diagonal up to the left. And it should make contact with the middle block of the three black holes going across here. So it should look like this. Now, you're going to switch to the jungle wood planks. Now, with the jungle wood planks, we're going to move down here. And come back to this black wool line. And we're going to start from this area here. Starting underneath this black wool. I'll fly back again so you can see where I am. We're going to start underneath this black wall here. The first block of the five blocks going diagonal up to the right. So starting underneath this black wall, you're going to place six blocks going down with jungle wood planks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So now let's fly back up. Now starting next to this block here, the top block of the jungle wood planks, you're going to place one block next to it on the left side. So that's one. So that, let's move back to the right. And you see these empty spaces here. You're going to start from this empty space. From this empty space, you're going to place six jungle wood planks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And you should arrive next to these two black walls going across. Now from this block, you're going to place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. 
Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. And that's one. And it should look exactly like this so far. So now you're going to switch to the birchwood planks. Now with the birchwood planks, we're going to move down here. And this time, instead of starting underneath the five black walls going diagonal, we're going to move to the right. And we're going to start next to this block here, next to the bottom block of the six black walls going diagonal. Now, starting on the right side of this block here, starting from there, with the birchwood planks, you're going to place two blocks going across to the right. So that's one, and that's two. Now place three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three. Now delete those placement blocks, and it should look like this so far. So now, from this block, you're going to place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. Going across, so that's one, two, and delete that placement block. Now place ten blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it should make contact with this one block diagonal here. So let's fly over and delete that placement block. Now you're going to switch to the sand block. Now with the sand block, you're going to fill in these empty spaces here, these small empty spaces between the birchwood planks and the black wool. So go ahead and do that now. And once you're done filling it in, it should look exactly like this. So now switch back to the birchwood planks. Now with the birchwood planks, we're going to fly back to the upper right corner of this empty space here where we placed the white wall. And we're going to start from this area here of this black wall line going up. And we're going to start on top of this block here. Now starting on top of this one block, You'll place three blocks going up with birchwood planks. So that's one, two, three. Now we're going to move over to the left. Now starting on top of this block, you're going to place six blocks going up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should look exactly like this so far. So now let's switch to the jungle wood planks. Now with the jungle wood planks, we're going to move to the upper left corner of this empty section here. So move to the upper left corner, and you should arrive here. Now let's move down just a bit, and you should come across these three black walls going diagonal that comes right after the two blocks going across, and before that, uh, you see this backwards L shape. So let's go back to the three black walls going diagonal, and we're going to start on top of the middle block of the three blocks going diagonal. So starting from that block there on top of it. With the jungle wood planks, you're going to place three sets of twos going up on the left side. Three sets of twos. So that's one, two, one. That's one, two, two. And that's one, two, three. Go ahead and delete the placement blocks. And it should look like this so far. Now, from this block, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two. Now place three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. And one, two, three. Delete the placement blocks, and it should look exactly like this. Now with the jungle wood blanks, you're going to fill in four empty spaces. You're going to fill in this space here. You're going to fill in this space. You're going to fly up, and you're going to fill in this small space, and you're going to fill in this space. So go ahead and fill in those four empty spaces with jungle wood blanks. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now from this area, we're going to move all the way down until we come across Gohan's left eyebrow and i want you to find this section here where it's three black walls going across and then three black walls going down on the right side it shouldn't be too hard to find so find this section here and we're going to start underneath the three black walls going across here and we're going to start underneath the left block of the three blocks going across so starting underneath there so starting from that block 
you're going to place five jungle wood planks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. Now go ahead and delete the placement blocks. And now you're going to fill in this area here with jungle wood planks. So do that now. And it should look exactly like this. So now let's move down and to the right until we come across this seven black wool going up. Find these seven black wools going up. It's the seven black wools that we started on top with the birchwood planks going diagonal up to the left. So find these seven black wools going up. And this time we're going to start underneath it. Now underneath the seven black wools going up with the jungle wood planks, you're going to place one block there underneath it. Now, from this block here, you're going to place three blocks going up on the right side. So starting on top of this black wall. So that's one, two, three. And it should look like this. Now, next to this black wall on the right side, you'll place one jungle wood plank there. So that's one. And it should look exactly like this so far. So now you're going to switch to the birch wood planks. And you're going to fill in this single area here with birchwood planks. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now you're going to switch to the sand block. Now with the sand block, you're going to fill in the entire right side of Gohan's face with sand. Now let me show you the outline that you're going to have to follow and not cross. You're not going to cross over to his left side. So this is the outline. These birchwood planks, you're not going to cross them. And the black wool as well, you're not going to cross over here. And you're not going to go up here and fill this in. In fact, this is the outline right here going, go, kind of going up and then down. And none of this area gets filled in. Absolutely none of this area gets filled in with sand. This black wool outline, you don't cross over it. And these birch wood planks, you do not cross over it. So it's all the empty spaces on Gohan's right side of his face. It gets filled in with sand. So go ahead and do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now you're going to switch to the birchwood planks. Now with the birchwood planks, you're going to fill in all of the remaining spaces on Gohan's left side with birchwood planks. So do that now. Fill in all the empty spaces with birchwood planks. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now, I know some of you have been working on this for over a month since part one was first uploaded. And you all are now considered Super Saiyans. I now deem you as a Super Saiyan. Felix Guaman is now deeming you as a Super Saiyan because you waited over a month. You've been working over a month. Now, of course, the people that have been working on this for over a month are the ones that started this since part one. Which was, I checked, I'm not exactly sure when the date was, but it was over a month ago. So I applaud all of you. And be sure, if you do complete this, be sure to share it with me on Facebook or Instagram. Be sure to tag me in them or tweet me. And I'll be sure to like it and favorite it and retweet it and do all that other stuff. Because I appreciate all the people that do give me credit for this pixel art not just this pixel art but all my pixel arts i mean as you can see this took me eight parts eight parts most of them were over 50 minutes long i think there was about two maybe two parts that were only 50 minutes long and then the rest was about over an hour long this one is going to be most likely less than an hour because it was just the face section and i wanted to save this face for the final part and so here we are so thank you all so much for watching and be sure to stay tuned in for more minecraft videos